The pilot of the Humanizing Online STEM Academy started on Monday, January 27th. Three days before the course, participants were sent this email from the course facilitators containing a link to the liquid syllabus. The liquid syllabus is designed to be mobily responsive to support students just where they are on their phones and create a trustworthy, supportive environment for the very first week, actually before they even get started in a course. Our liquid syllabus begins with a friendly welcome video from the course facilitators. Hi there and welcome. I'm Michelle Pekansky Brock. I am faculty mentor for online teaching and learning with CVC OEI in the California Community College System. In my role, I design and provide professional development for online educators across all of our community colleges. And I'm Mike Smith-Hammer, the faculty distance education coordinator at Modesto Junior College. My job is to help faculty design and build great online classes. And I'm Kim Vincent Layton, educational developer in the Center for Teaching and Learning and a lecturer in the Department of Communication, both at Humboldt State University. I partner with faculty to explore and redesign their teaching as well as their students' learning. If you're wondering what we'll be doing together over the next six weeks, spend some time looking around our liquid syllabus. What you learn in this course will help you connect with your students and we think it will make your online teaching feel richer and more rewarding too. Video is a big part of that, particularly in STEM gateway courses where equity gaps persist. Isn't it nice to be able to see and hear your facilitators in this course? We're really looking forward to collaborating and sharing with you. See you online. Also on the liquid syllabus, Participants find a welcome message from the facilitators, as well as course essentials, which include our PACT, a list of expectations from, that they can expect from us, as well as a list of expectations that we have of them. Our teaching philosophy, information about how to get questions answered, and a week one success kit, which includes really critical details like the organization of the course, how the whole course works, the number of modules, when those modules will open, and it includes a list of week one assignments and due dates to be sure that uh, participants are ready for the week ahead and prepared to be successful. It also includes the course outcomes, a description of how grading works in the course, and a link to log into the course. So again, the liquid syllabus is really like a welcome mat to reach out and prepare participants or online students with the essentials that they need for a great first week in the course. Now, when participants log into the course, this is the experience that they have. They come to a home page that isn't just any home page, it's a humanized home page. We want participants and, of course, online students to feel welcomed and supported every step of the way and have human presence there with them. It's important in a humanized course that students who learn online never feel isolated. They feel supported every step of the way and they know that there's someone on the other side of the screen who cares about them. So that's what we're trying to model here to ensure that the effective piece of learning, which is so critical, particularly for students who often don't make it through the first week of an online course, let alone finish the whole course, and one of the important parts of that humanized homepage is another friendly welcome video. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to, to our, our homepage. homepage. I'm Michelle Pekansky Brock. I'm Mike Smeds Hammer. And I'm Kim Vincent Layton. Click the start here button to go to the first page in our getting started module. This module will get you oriented to our class. After that, you can get started with Module 1. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there. After watching the video, participants click on the Start Here button as they were instructed to in the video. 
and they proceed to the Meet Your Facilitators page where they learn a little bit more about their facilitators. The use of the children images is a way of fostering a little bit of storytelling by using an image to tell a little bit more about who we are and what we're bringing to the course. Uh, they can also click on our Canvas profile to learn more about us there. So the rest of the Getting Started module, I'm not going to take you through every page, but I did want to point out just a few parts of that first module that might be helpful for you to see. Uh, let's go here. So this course structure page points out how the course is organized. So there are five modules. The, each one is one week. The last one is two weeks. And it takes them through the topic of each module. What I want to point out is that the first module is really all about the research behind STEM, um, the equity gaps, the, the reasons for the equ equity gaps that really point to the need to support the effective part of learning, the effective components of learning more effectively online, particularly when students are learning in isolation. And so after that, participants go through several modules in which they are introduced to culturally responsive teaching theory um, about building trust, becoming a learning partner, becoming a warm demander, and building community online. Throughout these modules, they are also working on different practices that they will polish in the last module and put together in an online showcase that is shared with a Creative Commons license. Those practices are all listed on the next page here. So the eight practices that will be developed by the end of the academy, uh, they will develop their own liquid syllabus, just like the one you just saw, their own humanized course homepage like you just saw, in addition to a course card. Avoid, uh, they will demonstrate how to leave voice or and or video feedback in Canvas complete and use a get to know in getting to know you survey in their course which they also complete in our course uh, they'll design an icebreaker and a wisdom wall which are two activities that foster student to student interaction using voice or video and also foster growth mindset and self efficacy and they'll create a bumper video and a micro lecture. So two rather non-traditional uses of video that are very effective. Um, and they'll be doing all of this with free to low cost tools that are readily available to them and building in uh, to ensure for accessibility throughout. In the course, we're also using VoiceThread and Flipgrid, two asynchronous discussion tools that use voice and video. Uh, and I'm going to take you into our icebreaker just so you can get a sense of what that looks like. I have our grading rubric here, and I'm just going to click at the bottom to open the VoiceThread. This is a third party um, LTI integration that we purchased with funds from, um, from the Learning Lab. And. I'm going to play a comment here. We'll just go ahead and play Sarah. She was the first um, participant to comment. Hi there. I'm Sarah Williams. This is my first time using VoiceThread. I will say it's a little surprising how the um, record starts a little bit quicker than I might have thought. Um, let's see. I was reflecting on my life and thinking about memorable educators, and the person I wanted to talk about was the Dean of Students at my college, Anne Quinley. I went to a small college, um, and so I think there were about 400 incoming students each year, and Dean Quinley committed to learn everybody's names right from the outset and had everybody over for dinner in shifts and let you know right away that she knew who you were. Um, she was a person who had had a long career, um, long and buried career and had a lot of... So I'm going to pause that and then just show you. Uh, Sarah's comment here has a comment, a reply from me, and then this is a reply from Jeffrey, one of our other participants. Hi Sarah, I, I like hearing about your uh, memorable educator. A couple of things resonated for me. Um, one of them was that that uh, this dean of students um, worked so hard to get to know all the students, and it, it seems to me that that's one of the things that can be a very important part of a student's experience in a in a higher education situation when people. So you can see that there are some meaningful interactions going on there in this humanized uh, discussion. 
wherever we can in the course we are pulling in examples of videos and other types of practices that um, demonstrate what other instructors are doing in their courses and we think that's really important when possible we are bringing in stem videos um, or I should say videos of stem faculty Hi, this is Chris Furbishay and I'm going to review but those examples are rather sparse at this point so we're looking forward to bringing in the videos of our participants as we be continue to improve the the academy moving forward so for now that's that's a tour uh, we hope you like what you saw and we're more than happy to expand on any other areas or um, answer any questions you might have